health thing is to do what? Remove obstructions and keep obstructions away. The, mm-hmm. the, our body naturally fights cancer, and we fight cancer. We living in cancer. Mm-hmm. It's fighting. All this shit is fighting every day. Mm-hmm. It naturally can fight it. When we give it the, the whole foods and the plant base, when they give it the plant, the nature, mm-hmm. it just accelerates it and helps it. Mm-hmm. The body can naturally fight it. Yeah. The white blood cells, the army going to do their job. The red blood cells going to do their job. That's the builder and the creator and the white blood cells. It's your defense and security. Mm-hmm. When you when we give it nature and living, it just enhances it and speeds it up. Mm-hmm. So the the body is not, it, when it becomes weakened and in a state of dis-ease, it's hard to do anything. It's hard mm-hmm. for it to get up to do anything. Yeah. And that's when, you know, it, the, longer, the longer that, Whatever is attacking it can sit and fester. The, the weaker it begins, then if the organ, if it attacks an organ or specific, then that goes out. You see, if one organ goes out, the other organs have to pick it up. Mm-hmm. It, can, it can carry it, but it can't keep carrying because it slows their process down. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's like it's it's just everything when 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 everything changes when you want to change. Everybody can't do the same, but everybody can do something to improve their health. And it starts with thinking first. Mm-hmm. It starts in the mind. Like I said, that courage, you have to do. If, it's, if, if you do it here, you, you're going to, what George Clinton say, you free your mind behind the father. And, and going to that point, you know, years ago when we started changing how we were eating and stuff like that, we'd be on, you know, playing ball. And, you know, we done drop whatever the, I ain't never really been a big dude you know what I'm saying but I probably topped out at about 170 I'm about 154 now 156 154 I kind of fluctuate between that but we be on the court or wherever you know people we grew up with mm-hmm. you know you might get hit or knocked a certain kind of way and they're like you need a pork top yeah you eat some of that then you eat a grass I, sandwich eat, you know grass that's sandwich. that's not a grass sandwich you eat you know, like you're saying, courage. You see that mm-hmm. stuff. If you if you're not strong in the mind, that that can deter you and make you be like, oh. mm-hmm. you know, you know, wither back into that the, the, the lifestyle that you that you were on that that wasn't so healthy for you. So it's like we always had some kind of opposition, even though not they were joking, but still it's still uh, psychological, uh, psychological and, and um. um like uh, 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 smoke some dope, Louie. Remember that old commercial? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that peer pressure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, but once they realize, nah, they ain't budging. <laughs> they stand on, you know. Then they just had to respect it. And then we had people that that's done passed. Yeah. That were people who used to say that stuff. Saying to that they're gone from hell. Yeah. The one, the very ones that were saying that. Yeah. Health took them out. We still here. Still eating grass sandwiches. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? So it's like, ain't no way around this, man. Health is the greatest wealth. As long as you healthy, mm-hmm. you can do whatever you want. Yeah, right. I know plenty of people who are so-called rich and so-called wealthy, but they can't enjoy it because their health is effed up. Mm-hmm. Right. Because it's not really about wealth. It's about opportunity. And what opportunities can you get to if you can't move, you in pain, you can't breathe? That's supposed to be natural. Right. Mm-hmm. This so, is natural stuff. Yeah. You supposed, you supposed to be able to do this naturally. Was born with two legs. Most people born with functional two legs, right. arms, and you can't do that. You're looking at people with canes. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Uh, breathing apparatus like Manta Ray from Super Friend. Come on, man. Mm-hmm. See, it was just it was like I look like that, that. That just when I started seeing people with them tanks, I was like, come yeah. on, people. You, you know, gosh, it takes mm-hmm. different stuff with different people to wake up, man. I know when I was at my worst, man, I used to go to sleep at night. And I couldn't go to sleep because my blood pressure was so high, my whole mm-hmm. body was pulsating. Mm-hmm. And it's just like... You can't rest. I, yeah, I couldn't rest. And then the thing really triggered me was like, you don't want to die at the hands of yourself. Mm-hmm. And that's something I kept thinking about. Like, like, do you really want to be the one who kills you, who stops this all? Like, I was so bad with alcoholism at one point where I would... If I knew I was about to get super sloppy drunk, I would clean the house up first just in case... Somebody had to rush in and give me. They just wouldn't see the house messed up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man, you got to kind of like everybody looking for something to love, people to love, fall in love with yourself mm-hmm. and heal that. And mm-hmm. then you will see how strong you really are. Mm-hmm. Like, man, for real, like, mm-hmm. 
it's a journey, man. Get to know yourself and, and really try to fix your fix yourself, man. Mm -hmm. What would you um? You had something you was gonna say? Uh, in hip hop, I'm just sitting here looking. You know, yeah. we got the master fight dog health issue. Mm -hmm. let's, let's 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 go through it here. I'm just gonna pick this here. Uh, and what was wrong with fight dog? Kidneys, diabetes. Mm -hmm. Diabetes, diabetes is. A and his main thing was sugar. Sugar. Is, but see, diabetes is a cancer. Mm. My diabetes cancer is the same thing. Cancer is a, is a, is a, is a it's, it's parasitic, but it's a, it's a, it's a, it's candida. It's, 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 it's you know, the doctors won't tell people that mm. this is Good yeast. Mm -hmm. And when you eat certain foods, it creates this. Mm -hmm. And once those cells begin to mutate and multiply, you, you can't. It's uncontrolled. You got to do something. To, so. <clears throat> Vitamin B17, what they push in naturalized, uh, right? Vitamin B17 is what they call it. It's in the natural grass that we ate, that indigenous people ate, whether we were here, Turtle Island, or over in uh, Motherland, mm -hmm. or Central America, South America. We, we were everywhere. Mm -hmm. Russia, we everything. It's indigenous. Black has no standing in law. Anyway, the naturalized vitamin B17 is in sugar, the grass. You see? When any animal gets you see when the dog gets sick, what do you do? When the cat go gets sick, they go eat some grass. Throw up and they good. Know what grass to eat. Know what grass to eat. That's the plant. That's the herb. So we gotta get back to see. So when they was complimenting us eating grass, they didn't know what they was talking about. Because we still when you eat the grass, you're gonna be alright. Mm -hmm. Because the nitrilicides in the grass, they used to feed the cows. You can go on YouTube and look at this uh video. Um this uh they were feeding the cows. Um, the cows used to eat all this sorghum, all this grass, this type of hay. Mm -hmm. and that's why they, well, you know, when you ate meat, when you was eating cow, it was, it was, now you got mad cow and all this other crap because they feed the cow paper to make it swell up fast. But, oh, yeah, so there's so much crap going on, man. It's ridiculous. So people don't realize what they're eating. They're eating mutations. So if you, you are what you eat. If you eat something that's mutated, you're going to mutate. It's real simple. Mm -hmm. So... We got to get back to just plain nature, you know, understanding what nature is. Fife dog was it was it was it was, it was uh, diabetes. Uh, Dre, I'm a uh, Nate dog. I think was a heart attack. I know stroke. Forty one. Heavy D back in 2011. That was what uh, uh, they said it was. Uh, after his autopsy, it was discovered that he died as a result of pulmonary embolism. That's bleeding. Yeah. He just bled to death. Drowned in his own blood. Mm -hmm. Big pun, you know. Yeah. Heart attack. And Big Pun didn't even start out as a big guy. He was small. Seen, right, he was small. So imagine your frame putting on that much weight. It is like That's some people crazy. Built for that. But like he was that ain't not that size at all. That's right. not normal. That's something what makes you mutate like that. Mm -hmm. Food makes you know, combination of Genetics, mm -hmm. different genetics. You don't know. That's why we got to be scientists and do everything about everything has to be about nature science. Meaning, everything about we get with mixed with. You have to know the science. That's why I, in our ancient culture, true culture, indigenous, your parents, the elders picked who you got with. Mm. It didn't have anything to do with any love, man. Yeah. It didn't have anything to do with love. You learn to love someone. Everybody want to be in love on uh, right there. Sorry. That's bullshit. That ain't real, man. That ain't natural. That's unnatural. You develop love. Yeah. You learn to love. Yeah. Now, sometimes you can just be brought off in. That's that's great. For those who can do it, and that's, that's fine. That ain't natural. Yeah. Some people don't know what you mean by learn to love. You ever been like, I know fellas, you ever work at a factory somewhere and there's only one chick that worked there and you be like man she's so ugly the first day you start and then by the third week you're like man she is one of the bad <laughs> chicks i've never seen in my life <laughs> the way her beard Every just hang like <laughs> that's what it is man it changes yeah the perception changes yeah <laughs> everything changes the beard the change everything change and it's just that simple man it's, it's, it's like hey uh what's his name adam yacht going for uh, what's his name uh beastie boys now mm -hmm. they said he was uh, cancer, paratoid gland. I mean, 
pervertite gland and uh, said he went vegan and still died. Yeah, you can. The vegan and vegetarians, and these are titles. Marketing tools to make commerce off of. So when a person said, are oh, you a vegetarian? No. Are oh, you a vegan? No. Well, you say you didn't eat any meat. Yeah. Well, you're, you're, veg you're, you're vegan. No. I don't get into titles. Mm -hmm. I am that I am. I strive to live my best. Well, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a libertarian. I strive to live better. Make my living better. Because when you put yourself up on these titles, man, it, you know, any title, mm -hmm. then you're limited. Titles are for limitation. Mm -hmm. And we always stand that people use them, you know, for generalization. Mm -hmm. But it's, you limit yourself when you put yourself on the title, man. Mm -hmm. That means you ain't really obligated to go no further than that. So it's like, when a, I'm not a vegetarian because I may wear some shoes that have leather. I may wear a leather belt. So I'm not a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't eat. I said, well, you, you said you don't eat any meat. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't eat any meat. That don't make you not a vegetarian. That don't make you a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, we eat vegetables and we eat plant. How you think the plant feel? Right. I'm a, the master teacher taught us what? You sit up there, you eating salad, right? And fronted plants. The plants can see you eating their cousins. Mm -hmm. How you think they feel? Mm -hmm. Okay, you got a big giant fish tank with fish in it. You sitting there eating fish, mm -hmm. eating this cousin. This fish looking at you like, damn. But you got fish in the fish tank. See, it's, it's a lot of hypocrisy and contradiction. It just makes us think like, okay, I, I can't be fanatic with nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I got to be real. We got to keep, keep it real, real man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got to keep the shit real. You know what I'm saying? I walk anytime I walk past anywhere and I smell some meat, I just ate it. Mm -hmm. You smelled it. That's a form of consuming. You went in. I don't physically eat meat. Mm -hmm. I don't consciously eat meat. Mm -hmm. That's what I say to people. Yeah. That's being precise. Yeah. And when you want to get with health, you got to be precise. The more precise you are with health, anything, yeah. the more. Successful. As soon as you smell it, your stomach is secreting certain everything. stuff. Yours. Everything that started. Yeah. Digestion begins in, in the mouth. Yeah. In the brain, really. See what I'm saying? So it's like, you yeah, know, yeah. that goes into a whole other aspect of everybody. I'm so, you know, yeah. I've been a vegetarian, vegetarian for this amount of time. I don't get into all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm, I, I can give you That's numbers. more ego based. I, yeah, I can give you numbers and what I, nah, man, my thing is more direct. Let's deal with some facts. Mm -hmm. Let's deal with some precision here. And I can tell you my experience, you tell me your experience, and let's see what we can get from those things. You know what I mean? Versus yeah. me telling you what this and that. I can't tell you nothing. You ain't got no tail. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm definitely coming through the shop, man. Where is your shop located at? Right here. In I'm Ground Roots. Right here, man. If you want to contact me, 513-413-1386, or you can reach me, email, because I'm not social media like that. I deal with the other social media, the original social media. Mm -hmm. I'm learning to do this. We've done this social media, yeah. but it is. We, we're living in this moment. We had to do these things. Yeah, yeah. Um, my, e my email is uh, clinergy, C-L-N-R-G, 2030 at gmail.com. All right, man. I know y'all got that, man. Um, I know you wanted to talk. Did you want to talk more about hip-hop, the, the effect that? Hip-hop um, right now. It's amazing how we don't see any discussions of health. There's no mentioning. It just, it's mentioned of everything. Uh -huh. There's no mentioning of health, man. In songs or just like as In songs. In subject matter, songs, yeah. nothing. There's no representation of it. It's very little representation is mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Especially mainstream. So definitely, definitely mainstream. Definitely mainstream. Mm -hmm. So on the you know, underground and roots, you can always find this. You know, we can always find different ones who went to the libertarian mind, uh, whether they're coming from a um, comedic background or or uh, five percent or whatever, or however. But there's not enough factual things dealing with factual information and actuality when it comes to hip hop. When it's like this should be common knowledge, and the more that it is things would turn around because when you look at people, you I mean, all I gotta do is say Buster Rhyme. Yeah. He looks sickening. You right now? Yes. I know he fluctuated a lot in weight, but he looks sickening, man. That's see, that's all because of there is no bar. 
Mm-hmm. There has there's no bar being set and established for hell. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at all the DJs now. I see so many fat DJs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is ridiculous, man. Yeah. I love you. You're talented. You 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 your deities of the of 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 of, of the of the art, of the skill, but the health, if you want to maintain this, if you want to, we got to get this health together, man. Hip hop and got fat, man. It's really? because it's greedy. Mm-hmm. Anything goes. Yeah. There are no guidelines. Nope. There are no natural guidelines. Anything goes. Everybody's in a fast and a hurry for everything. Yeah. You're saying? So when you do things fast, then you, you know, it, the reason it's called fast food is because it make you age fast. Mm-hmm. So that's what hip hop is. Hip hop is fast food. Pull up to the window. Yeah. No everything. Everything is just. I mean, that's just what it is. That's the reality. Okay. That's what it is. Then we must do things to counteract it. You don't just go all the way. There has to be. There's no. You know. Yeah. 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 I know what you're talking about. It's kind of like when you got a hundred dollars in your pocket, you like, man, let me save this hundred dollars, man, because I might need to do something. When you got five, you be like, man, I'm, I only got five, I might as well just, hey, throw it up. Yeah, we kind of like hip hop got its hand on so much stuff it's used to promote and sell so much stuff that like wherever hip hop go, that's where the people go, the yep. culture go of of just the culture of America, and it's anything goes right now. Anything goes. There's no man, hey man, freedom is a jail, like. It's it's a such thing as being too free, because you can do some some self inflicted terribleness. Like you do more damage, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. F- really, there's no such thing as free. Mm-hmm. It doesn't exist. That's an illusion. Yeah. Because everything is interdependent on it. The way nature is, it's interdependent. It's all relative. It's all related. Mm-hmm. There is nothing that's just there. Yeah. It's connected. Everything is connected. So we talking about an illusion. Mm-hmm. And. Whenever you have too much, would you say too much freedom? I say it's too much variety. When you have a whole bunch of something, mm-hmm. you don't know what to do with it. You know, it's just too much at one time. Yeah, too much stimulation. Yeah, I think we've been overstimulated right now. Stimulation, like especially with like sites like Instagram, where like it's a you get on Instagram, it's a grid of like just inside your 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 frame you can see on your phone. It's probably like. 20 pictures that you can choose from all stimulating in different areas of your brain like it's videos playing at the same time it's so much th- and then most people w- do this while they're sitting in front of a TV are like man it's so much stimulation like it's like being on natural heroin like I feel like we just constant our, our dopamine is just constant. drenching ourselves and we constant. don't feel nothing constant you become mm-hmm. numb but you, mm-hmm. you think you're feeling mm-hmm. but you really numb yeah. mm-hmm. that becomes natural that's what's <clears throat> taking place mm-hmm. so it's like how do you get back to being centered? Mm-hmm. Because everyone is off centered. Yeah. When you're getting alpha bombarded, that's called the alpha, alpha bombardment uh, spell. That's what this is. That's mm-hmm. what this matrix is. It keeps the mind busy mm-hmm. all the time. It doesn't have time to sit and naturally calibrate. It stays stimulated. Mm-hmm. Stimulant, stimul- stimulation is acidic. Mm-hmm. Alkalinity, alkaline, it's not stimulated. When you smile, mm-hmm. see, you're a comedian, you know. When you smile, that's natural. Mm-hmm. Laughing is a stimulation. Smiling is a natural, innate ability. Mm-hmm. When you see something funny, you're stimulated to laugh. Yeah. That's outside of you. The person said, well, you can think of something, you start laughing. Yeah, that's you thought of a memory and you started laughing. You thought of a memory. You stimulated yourself. But when you smile, that's a natural, natural innate ability. Okay. It don't cause for any energy. Okay. He's, just, a, he's in that I smile. Just, I just like the way he be phrasing he's, stuff. He's, man. In, he's funny. in that smile. He's smiling like, hey. I couldn't even help it, man. <laughs> but it's like, I was saying that because you was talking about the stimulate. We overstimulated. Mm-hmm. That's this matrix job is to keep everybody stimulated. Mm-hmm. They weren't talking about the stimulus package for nothing. Uh, it's five, seven years ago. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. It, 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 it was, Go out and get yourselves distracted. Distracted. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, exactly. Mm-hmm. So it's like it's it's it, we in this thing. 
one needs to know how to navigate through this muck and mire, man. And when you, the more natural and simple we be, the we can move through this muck and mire. But the faster we move and stuff, it's like, nah, man. It's so, people so caught up in the tailspin and whirlwind, man. It's like, they don't even know they're in the serpent's coil. Mm-hmm. They, don't, they don't know they're sitting in the coil. Because mm-hmm. they so, the only, way, the only way one can really see it's like when you're above a plane, when I mean, you're in a plane or a helicopter and you're in the, in, in, in the sky, and you high enough, you can look down and you can see in. When you in it, you cannot see it. Mm-hmm. You have to be out of something to see it, mm-hmm. to really see it. You know, yeah. you can be in it and know what's going on in there, but to come to the party, what, what, what it's like in there? What's in the club? Is, Oh, sorry. Yeah. You you won't know until you go in there. Mm-hmm. You stand up at the top of the block. Who down the block? What's going on down there? The person can tell you, but you won't know actually and factually until you go down there yourself and check it out. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So a lot of people doing that with this. I look at hip hop like that. Hip hop is everybody's in it. It welcomes. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. A lot of people are looking in. They ain't even really came in. They just looking in it and jump on it. They ain't even really in it. Mm-hmm. It ain't like it used to be when we was coming up before because you had to go in it. Mm-hmm. To be that was in. before it was considered popular music, though. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you, you, it, hip-hop was always, I know we spent, but it's still dealing with health because it's healing. Because hip-hop is music and music heals. And when it's on a raggedy frequency, then that's not healing, it's doing damage. Mm-hmm. And we're going to say this and give some signs. So hip-hop comes from the ancient master deity, Egyptian Tamaran deity, Tahuti. His name, one of his names, Tahuti is the ibis head deity and the baboon that mm-hmm. you see over in Egypt. That's Tahuti. Master of wisdom, words, math, uh, arithmetic, language. Mm-hmm. That is the grand transmitter. Thought. He was called, and the, the, the Greeks called him thought. A mm. thought. That's where the word thought comes from. One of his name was Hib Hob. Really? That's where hip hop comes from because he was the messenger that would always let the beings the, between the deities and the uh, demon gods, demon deities, Netters and the higher Netters. He would transmit. So you, it was hip hop was known to let people know what was going on in the street. Mm. That's how it originated. That's how hip hop originated. But I'm giving y'all, we giving y'all the science right now in this day. Not just in the tarot, praise to the tarot. Hip hop comes from the ancient tone hip hop, who was master to Hootie, who was over all hip hop. You ain't getting no information like that nowhere else. On no other podcast, radio station, man. I just want you to know that this is the Nam Time Show on 1660 AM Radio Artifact, man. We in here having real conversations, affecting real lives, man. This is stuff that we all need to hear, man. Trying to clean it up, man. This is the clean up episode, man. Clean right. up episode. Right. Come clean. You must come clean. You don't got to start fast. You ain't got to start hard. Yeah. Some of you need to start hard, but you just got to start just got to start mm-hmm. you got to start pure make your intention pure and you'll get whatever you need to be the journey of a thousand miles has started with one step man we're gonna get clean together man um i know a lot of people that i deal with we studio heads if you it's a lot of smoking going on so you a smoker you want to stop smoking you gotta we know you gotta clean up the bloodstream how can the people that i know that's like me smokers clean it up when you know the facts of what smoke does and what smoke is. Mm-hmm. Smoke is what? Carbon monoxide. Mm-hmm. Fire, anytime you put fire to something, it turns into carbon. That lets you know we have a fire burning in our solar chest and our solar plexus that makes our skin turn this color. Mm. It's called sun heat genetics. That's the science. Soul is the Latin word for sun. That's why it's called solar plexus. We have a sun sitting in there. Mm-hmm. So, when you take any fire and put it directly to something, it turns into carbon. Mm-hmm. Carbon is what melanin is. It's a misnomer. They call it melanin, but we know it's carbon. So we really, car- you said melaninite, that's a proper term. Carbonian or carbonite is a proper term too. 
That's what X Man is. I'm a Carbonian. That's the next shirt. Man. I'm a Carbonite. <laughs> That's the next shirt. Carbonite. I See? like that. So, That's hard. when you smoke, when you know the facts of what it does, mm -hmm. it asphyxiates you, it constricts veins. See, when we get into the, you know, when you get into the science of what actually smoke do to the body, mm -hmm. it kills brain cells. It shrinks everything. It, it makes everything go like this. So if your blood is supposed to be flowing through the veins naturally and in, in the proper course that it's put, when you smoke, it, it, it narrows them. It constricts it. Mm -hmm. It makes everything mm -hmm. tighten up. So that's, that's a form of, you know, choke out. Mm -hmm. Kind of the same way your body would do if somebody was trying to choke, choke. you out. Your <laughs> body would respond the same exact way. Same way. Yeah. So when you see a Montek guy here talking about, oh, it's hot as hell out here, but he's got a, he's smoking. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. You got fire in your lip, mm -hmm. between your lips, talking about it's fucking hot. <laughs> what, what are you talking about? Yeah. Excuse my French. Yeah. Y'all know what I'm saying. You, you, you see what I'm saying? It's that, we, we become that numb. It's like, you're talking about you're burning up with you smoke. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you be hot if you smoke? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Your body, you put your body in a state of hotness because you're choking it out. Right. So if you walk around with cloud in your head and cloud in your lungs, that's obstruction. Mm -hmm. But you hot, that makes you hot. Your body is restricting. Mm -hmm. You know, it's restricted. The veins and everything, the blood flow is restricted. So that makes pressure, that builds pressure. If something is restricted and obstructed, pressure is going to build up. Mm -hmm. Stress is going to build That creates heat, friction. So you get hot. Mm -hmm. So when you look at it from, I just say to people, look at things from common sense, facts, you know, just use sign. Okay, I get it. I come from my parents. My parents did this in my DNA. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So how do I get, you know, how do, how do I get that? It's in my DNA. How do I... Work with that by doing the things we just said. That would be the blood cleansing stuff. That's the same the, thing. Right? That's the cleansing. Doing the cleansing, blood cleansing, breathing exercises. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay, second won't say you won't smoke. You ain't got to put the fire up under nothing. I mean, you ain't got to put the fire on nothing. Put it up under. Put it in water and put it up under. That's a T. Yeah. Oh, you don't get the same effect. Exactly. See, you don't get the same effect because, first of all. Different chemicals are released when you put fire directly to something. Mm -hmm. Now, people not aware of this science that what? When you burn something, when you put fire to something, that elemental forces is, is beings that are in the atmosphere that people are not aware of. That's a scene and an unseen. This is the science to people. That's why we got to get back to science. Mm -hmm. Different beings hang around. Incense brings agreeable elements and beings that are invisible to the eye in the atmosphere. S smoke, weed smoke brings malevolent beings around you. What's that mean? Malevolent means negative or evil. You could use those terms, there's really no evil, there's really no good, good or best, so so-called good, so-called bad. Benevolent means something that is so-called good. And malevolent means something something that is so called bad. Mm -hmm. So we talking about positive and negative. Okay. Positive elements of force of nature come around you with harmonious elemental things that burn like incense. But when we smoke certain uh, herbs, a lot of herbs that can bring malevolent beings. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of herbs you can take that you know poison you. And that's what they put in mixed with medicine, some medicine. A lot of a lot of medicines got a lot of beneficial benevolent herbs in it. Mm -hmm. They just don't mix well. You don't mix drugs and herbs and plants mm -hmm. and don't, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean a lot of the Wiccans and witches and you know, they know what different ones to use to take people out of here, you know, and do certain things. But that's once again, that's that botany. One of the movies I love, hip hop movie, Met the Man and Red Man. How high. How high. Man, they were botanists. That's why I love that movie so much. They went to school talking about method, them tough, but he, mm -hmm. he, was, he knew that, he knew all them plants. Mm -hmm. He was a natural scientist, a natural botanist, man. Mm -hmm. And that, that's one of my favorite movies. Yeah, they was talking about smoking out, but it, it was dropping science. You can, much of us can learn 
from that movie, man. Mm -hmm. They needed to make some more movies like that mm -hmm. until we get back to can go to full scale, you know, right. get people to go on that way. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. Because right. that one, that's one of my favorite movies, man. Yeah, I mean that because he was breaking down science of plants and nature, man, and all the lepers that were in there, they was thinking he was, you know, they didn't know he knew it. And he was like, right, I'm, right. I'm, not, I'm not impressed by this at all because he's like, I'm bored. He was bored as hell. He's like, I'm ready to go smoke back to the room and go smoke. Right, <laughs> right. Because I'm bored with this. Mm -hmm. I'm so good at this. This is in my DNA. Mm -hmm. And he broke it, you know, and that, but that movie, I'm telling you, man, that's, that's one of my favorite movies, man. That's one of my favorite movies. That, that movie is not, it didn't even get talked about, you know. Mm -hmm. It's more, it's always more to something than, it's always something more, mm -hmm. depending on where you stand, that to be able to perceive something. Yeah, and, right. but that that was a good movie, hip hop man. It yeah, it's it's got a um, it's got a cult following, but it doesn't have like like you saying right. that when it's out there like that yeah. to where um, to the masses, yeah, like uh, on a popular, I'm not a popular, cause it's popular to people, a certain um. A certain sector of people I don't even say certain there's a lot of different people that, that dig that movie but it's just not I guess when you, on the corporate side of, of things it didn't get that you know it wasn't yeah. talked about like yeah. that or whatever it's like a, a, a um, classic comedy or yeah. however you want to yeah. you know describe it or whatever we, yeah we always give you some perception I me and myself always like to give another perception that's not normal just like that like he was saying the, the, most people just said they were smoking they was, it was coming in there but they was dropping science in there mm -hmm. you know what I mean mm -hmm. so I'm a being that always if I see something my perception is gonna be to give you that I'm gonna see that science yeah. so I got to let that be known when I see and talk and transmit to somebody let them like you know so you give you another perception not just that but it's this too yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's, did, did, did you see it from this angle? Much like you can point to somebody and say, "You see that man? Nah, nah, right there. Nah, I, don't, I don't see it mm -hmm. until you stand a certain. Oh, now I see yeah, it. Yeah, so yeah. it's all about where you stand, mm -hmm. how you stand, and that's symbolic across the board. Mm -hmm. But how you stand is how you be able to perceive something, man. Right, right. You know what I mean? It's how we be able to perceive something. So it's like you get in your proper standing. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. What um, what would you say another another thing that's really hurting like our community? One thing I know uh, we talked about diabetes, kind of like the hip hop things that's going on. Um, I know my mom personally; she got arthritis. What would you recommend, like herbs or anything like that? I had got her like some fenugreek Greek. I think it it's is fenugreek. Greek. Fenugreek. Greek. Fenugreek. Greek. Uh, garlic. Garlic. That's also blood pressure. Yeah. Uh, the main thing, see, herbs and the food. Once again, we can't escape it. Leafy green vegetables. Arthritis is the meat. It's meat. The flesh. Uric acid. Body can't get rid of it. So it's the sugar and the meat. And the white flour products and all that. Eat leafy green vegetables. Eat more vegetables, mm -hmm. salad, yeah. uh, mustard, kale. Yeah. If you don't want it, cook it, eat it, juice it, drink it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But as far as plants, you can do moringa, you can do garlic, you can do, uh, because arthritis is acid. So you just need to get rid of the acid. It's, it's acid sitting in your joints. Mm -hmm. and that's sugar and meat. That's why I said it's the, it's the food. A lot of things can be reversed just for what we eat, man. Mm -hmm. And what we eat and what we drink does affect how and what we think. Mm -hmm. Point blank. Yeah. So if you, you know, it's, 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 it's just that simple, man. The more green, green as hell and green is what you see all over this planet. Mm -hmm. It's chlorophyll. Yeah. So, which is our original color. Our original color was green. Olive tone green. Not black. Yeah. 
we do we do this because of oxidation due to oxidation because we live on a uh really planet earth is a planetarium yeah. it's really a uh, aqua I mean, it's a real marina because it's more water than land yeah so it should be called it shouldn't be really called a planet it should be called a, a marina oh uh, yeah 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 they do all types of stuff to throw you off like yeah yeah but uh, but that but going back to what you were saying that arthritis is caused from that eating habit, that, that, those 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 eating habits, man. Those poor combinations of food and foods. Yeah, so if she cut back on that meat, to you know, you can't cut it out. Cut back on it until you can cut it out. Depends on you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the sugar. Yeah. They just attack the way. What it does, it goes to the weakest part of your body and set up camp. That's what it does. Yeah. That's what it do. So, you know. Um, yeah, it's it's, 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 once you put yourself on a regimen, when you tell yourself that, hey, keep it simple, uh, it take you a while. People spend their whole lives effing themselves up and making themselves poison, man. So it's gonna take some while to undo it. Mm-hmm. Anything can be undone. It can be undone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're working with a, a, one of my beloved friends right now. She has stage four ovarian cancer. They telling her all this and all about it. Stage four, not one, not two, not three. It's only stage. It's only stage five, according to these mother checkers. They got things, you know. What stage is that? Stage number five. They they they, they got cancer on the stages. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Acting main characters. Uh, it's <laughs> gone. Crazy, it's gone. She did exactly what we asked for myself. The the the, the two people that I mentioned earlier, uh, Kalika and uh, Mawusi, and myself. My Wusi is certified holistic practitioner. She's a true mother. She's a dollar. She's a midwife. She's a whole bunch of things. Mm-hmm. She's a true being yeah. of light, a true healer, as well as Khalid. And this sister did exactly what we asked her to do, and they're trying to figure out whatever you did. You know, she took the chemo. She was in the state of stage four, so she had to do the chemo. We said, go in and take the chemo, and we got it. We get rid of all that. She didn't have no problems during the chemo that everyone else has she had none of those symptoms didn't get sick one time it's gone the food that they try to give you give cancer patients in the hospital how you after, after the treatment right after the chemo they give them some process they give them something yeah burger king she mm-hmm. was right she was telling us all she said they was feeding them burger king mm-hmm. and white castles and, right after the third right after chemo man. she didn't eat none of that that's why she didn't have. She was eating all plant based. She juiced, yeah. did herbs, yeah. no meat, no sugar. Cancer go. They trying to figure out where, where you know. Mm-hmm. Now they trying to take credit for it. Right. right. They trying to take credit for it. Mm-hmm. It's funny. It's heavy. and we like, uh, yeah. We just we just laugh because mm-hmm. we know the deal. Mm-hmm. That's crazy, man. We know the deal, but it's proof that the libertarian when you do plant and holistic, uh-huh. it will change. The game, yeah, yeah, yeah. it changes the game, man. Mm-hmm. You had to be courageous to do that. People can't get it. I like this. I like this. Well, let's tell you about the word lie. I mean, like the the, the first tone you hear in the word like is lie. So I don't care for like. You can a crackhead likes crack. crack yeah. I hear him and likes. So they ain't saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Just for just. I like. I like. I like. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, man. Just for taste, man. Tasting process of digestion is the smart is the, it's the shortest part, so you just deal with a whole bunch of hurt off of off of that taste. One night stand, off of that yeah, one, night, like stand. A one night stand with food. You Get a the, pregnant. You let the pork chop hit you. <laughs> Eating for t- that's what it is. I mean yeah. that's I mean that's see that's so you need to write. This is this is I'm gonna write about this because this is type of stuff that needs to be. Said yeah, people yeah. will get it when it's put in, it's not being discussed. Yeah, See, mm-hmm. swaying all these cats, peace to them, beloveds, and all y'all. But y'all ain't talking about nothing, man. Mm-hmm. Y'all ain't talking about nothing that can have a real effect. Mm-hmm. And when it's done, and I mean, when you have this type of elements like that, <clears throat> people get it. Yeah, you know, when you want someone to come through with me and give it direct, yeah, that's that. But you got to have somebody to can bring, you know, you got to have a combination of both mm-hmm. and know how to use both of them because they're both applicable. Right, but it needs to be discussed, and this stuff ain't being discussed, man. man well, I, I definitely want you. This to come stuff back ain't being too, discussed. Mm-hmm. Like this is something 
that we might be able to dedicate like uh, a show of every two months, a show a month to just like targeting certain things. A different series of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we see the diabetes is crazy. We just have a diabetes show. Mm -hmm. and, oh man, that'd be that'd be that'd be awesome. Because I mean, that'd be awesome. There's so many people suffering from the same thing, like. And a lot of things, oh, another thing that's wrong with America is, like, nobody want to be first to do nothing. But once you know that there's other people living the way you live, it kind of block, they break down the barrier. So, I mean, we all going through something. And it sounds like the gist of everything is is the same at, at base. Mm -hmm. Green. The foundation. Yeah, the foundation is the same. Same. If that's done. Yeah. Then it's just upkeep. Maintain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we can get that back, our health back. We can get our mind back, which means we can get our spinning potential back, which means we can get back our community. Everything. And our, like, Changes everything. Yeah, man. It changed the whole dynamic. Change the game, man. man. Mm -hmm. Change the game. Yeah. Change the game. And we already a dynamic people, man. But this this health talk is for everybody, man. Ain't no, ain't no discrimination. With no, everybody needs anybody. to get healthy, man. Everything. Everything. Only ones that don't need. Only ones that don't benefit it from is the, the, the animals don't benefit from it. They're, they're fine. Because mm -hmm. they do what's in their nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We only one second. We, we, we have choice. We're not doing what we supposed to do. Put some Mountain Dew on the floor and, and the dog boy. They're going to be like, nah. <laughs> nah, that ain't I don't it, want that. That man. ain't it, man. Nah, that ain't, nah, that, that, that ain't it. <laughs> I have no, no throw idea. Throw them chips down there. See, if the, if the ants ain't eating, it's, it's, it ain't real. Bro, I heard the craziest stuff, man. It ain't real. Like, you know how McDonald's, it don't even break down. They said if the bacteria won't even eat it to break it down. Why would you eat Why that? You? Mm -hmm. It's crazy, man. These, these, but see, it, all those, these are there's accepted facts and then there's given facts, mm -hmm. proven facts. Yeah, we gotta start dealing with facts. People don't want to deal with facts like you, a person that knows something. You can say them, say to them, and let them and show them and everything, but they'll still do it because they're like, shit, I'm gonna just be up. You, that's uh, you know that's crack, right? You know, you're drinking crack, liquid crack. Mm -hmm. Well, shit, I'm gonna be a crackhead. You know, that's, that's what they say. They just, well, I'm gonna be the biggest crackhead at it. right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat this right now. Yeah. That's what they. That's what see. That's we've been conditioned to do that. Mm -hmm. We're so addicted. It's like everything is a joke. But when you horizontal, no one's laughing. Uh huh. That's amazing. All these jokes and so much fun and said, but when a person at the funeral, nobody's laughing. Mm -hmm. But see, I'll go to a funeral and laugh, and upset everybody. Just to go against the grain. Mm -hmm. Because you laugh when it was... See, I'm courageous enough to do that. Mm -hmm. You laugh when we was telling you, don't, you know, saying to you, turn your health around, don't do this. But here you are, horizontal now. Okay, so I'm going to laugh. Save yourself. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's just, it's just, it's, you know, it is serious. It is important, man. Ain't nothing more important because the children, we need it, but the future is the youth, and ain't no way the youth don't need it. They have to have these facts. They have to have a mentality that's built around health, yeah. around healing, yeah. and, let, and let it stay there because it's too much killing. It's too much killing of the, the self. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. And, then, and, 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 and as long as that's killing of the self, it's gonna be killings of others. It's a practice. It's, it's a, practice. a daily practice of suicides, suicides, different ways and, to do it. Yeah, man. Mm. But man, we got to get it together, man. We can heal ourselves, man. We can take back over ourselves, man. Another good show. Have my man X Man come through. We appreciate you again. Tell them how they can find you again. Uh, Clinergy C L N R G twenty thirty two zero three zero. Uh, at gmail.com That's the email uh, And my number is 513-413-1386 Leave a message I, I ain't gonna know your number So I ain't gonna answer it Just leave a message <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that right now <laughs> Just leave Keep a it message. real man you, That's just what it is That's part of the foundation That's what it is So <laughs> Anything we can assist you with Help you We do Herbal supplements uh, Cleanse your products We have Kidney formulas Kidney living formulas Colon formulas Maintain for the brothers out there that want to keep the prostate together and keep the yang together. Um, uh, we have uh, uh, a parasite formula. Uh, we have uh, uh, we have uh, uh, 
What's the um, ginkgo? A ginkgo. We have we have a, a, a memory, a brain, stem, stamina, a formula. Mm-hmm. So get stop it. Stop depending it. on the ibis. Uh, predictive text, man. Mm. Five ibis, the most important one, the biggest mover is ibis, immune booster and stimulator. It will knock out anything. Mm. That's, that's one of the it's one of the main things that Vaughn was taking. Stage four guys. Mm, the ibis is the truth. It's an immune booster and stimulator. It fights any form of whatever's got. It'll fight anything. It make, makes your blood, your white blood cells, man. Mm-hmm. Put your defense on. It's brilliant, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, that's definitely what's up, man. Vibe can attest to that. His whole family can attest to that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. Let's get that, man. Get that village back together. This is part of the village, man. <clears throat> In every village, it was somebody who was there who dealt with herbs and natural ways. And you sick, you go see this person, man. This is part of our village. So, y'all hit him up, man. My man X, man. We appreciate him coming through. Oh, you definitely going to have to come back, bro. We come back. Definitely. We, we definitely. That's no problem, bro. And we, like I said, we went through things the way we went through them because that's where it's supposed to be. We can get intricate and all this, but I'm saying my thing is to be. You can go and get that through social media and so many other mediums. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What I have to give, no one gives it like this. What we have to give, they don't give it like this. Mm-hmm. They don't transmit it like this. Yeah. And it's about how it's transmitted so that much it can it be palatable to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean? Right. Right. And this was Vibe who brought him in today, man. I appreciate you for that, man. You know, I have been I've been hollering at him for a minute, like, man, get the get the herb guy in, get the mm-hmm. herb guy in. Mm-hmm. Like, I appreciate it, man. I think our our listeners can definitely use this information, man. Um, give them a little bit about where you about to be this week and what, uh, what you got going on, bro. So I got the album dropping um, Friday. Yeah. Maturation of Lil Roni. Uh-huh. Um, been working on it for a couple of years. Um, and I got a show coming up on the 26th uh, in Covington. It's... it's 30 something slash 7 Club 732. It's either one of them, uh, but it's at 732 Greenup Street, um, May 26th, starting at 9 p.m. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a really 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 dope show. Hopefully, um, I know all my COV people gonna be there, but um, anybody that know me from the Natty, you know, been to a show, been to a Y2C show, or seen Vibe One perform, it's gonna be that on steroids. But at the same time, it's gonna be chill moments. I'm just gonna take you through the um, take you through. It's gonna be more of a personal thing with Vibe One, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, the whole Lil Roni, where I got the name from and how it came about. I'm gonna try to tell the story in the performance, you know what I'm saying? The best as best as I can, and then That's tight. have our have my DJ um, Classy K playing music from the era which the name came from from the late 80s early 90s so it's going to be a certain vibe to where it's going to just be a feel good vibe and uh, I encourage everybody to come out with their mates because all the music is dealing with some form of relationship whether it's um, um, with your, you know, your significant other your, if you're married your homeboys just friends just, just cherishing friendships and relationships and making sure things is solid it ain't just about you know sexual relationships you know what i'm saying so it's gonna be that type of energy and it's gonna be dope and this is gonna just be straight up live I don't, I don't give no bad performances you know so um and if you ain't man if you ain't busy you know, you know, you're on a couple of joints. Come through, the Come oh, through. yeah. I forgot, yeah. I forgot <laughs> we had the group out, the compilation out. Yeah, so, <laughs> like, nah. so it's gonna be dope, man. So, like I said, I got the maturation of Lil Roni coming out Friday on the um. It's gonna be digital this week, but by the time I do the show, I'm gonna have physical copies, um, hopefully T-shirts and all that stuff like that. So, um, it's gonna be free to, to get in, and uh, so you can patron, um, patron the bar, patron what I got, uh, all the um. The merch that I'm gonna have, and uh, it's gonna be dope. So come on out, uh, May 26, 9 p.m., 732 Greenup Street. Uh, it's called 30 something or Club 732. Uh, you can catch me online on Instagram at Vibe One or Mr. Vibe One. That's um, V I B E O N E. On Facebook, it's um, Vibe One, and also the Watusi Tribe. 
Um, so any information uh, you need to see what we got coming up, because working on a Y2C album right now as well. We're going to drop that at the end of the summer. Um, so we just staying, you know, I'm staying busy with my project, producing people. I um, um, started mixing and mastering on AC to enter these new uh, project. Um, that's going to be coming out later later on this year. So I'm just staying busy, staying in the studio, staying working out. I'm keep posting my workout pics, letting everybody know that, uh, you know, along with eating right, you know, staying, staying in shape as best as possible. And and like and like X was saying with with with, with um, doing everything in moderation. I don't over, I don't work out seven days a week. You know what I'm saying? When I first started to get myself into the groove, I did as much as I could, so I can so I felt like I was I feeling good. Then I then I dialed it back. You know, maybe two, maybe three times a week, especially when I put the basketball in. Put the basketball. That's a lot of cardio. Uh, I be killing, you know, on the hoop court. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I can't even. <laughs> I, got, I got, yeah, I got to be honest. I got to be honest. Just in case you shit. forgot, man. Yeah, just in case y'all forgot, you know. And, you know, and real talk, like, I'm 45 going on 46, but I feel better than I did. Only thing that's different with me now, I don't jump like I used to. But I'm trying to get that back. I, I figured out what I need to do to get that back, you know, so I can get back up on that rim. Like X was saying, you want to um, be dunking. On your own, on your body, you know, 50th birthday. 50, yeah. So it's like for me too. When I, you know, four years from now, yeah. ah, but I'm, I'm, you know, running circles around 20 year olds, 15 year olds. You know what I'm saying? Easy. Hey, Ain't breathing so. hard, none of that. So, so this stuff is real. This, this health, this libertarian lifestyle is real, man. And um, so that's everything that I got going on. That's everything that I'm about. And um. We really appreciate Brother X Man for coming. Definitely. And uh, he's been appreciate a job, he's been my brother for close to thirty years, man. Mm-hmm. That's my big bro. So um, that's what it is. Yeah, you can't see these cats, but they both got the Pharrell disease. They both look <laughs> real young, and it just show you that hey, man, doing doing right by yourself, man, is where it's really at, man. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you're just doing yourself a disservice, just because it's not happening today or tomorrow. Man, nobody want to be 50 and getting carried out of the house from their family. Mm-hmm. Going to the hospital is one of those things. It's, it's stop your week. Like, your week is pretty much stopped. Like, mm-hmm. if not more. Right. Like, man, so do right by yourself, man. Get yourself together. Uh, this week, man, I'm going to be out hitting different open mics, comedy. Um, still making shirts, man. So come get these new shirts. I just made this one this morning because it was how I felt, man. <laughs> it says, un But it says... The full word of F. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I made another one this morning that said, uh, uh, I forget what the other one said, but I'll be posting. Check me out on Facebook, um, at Six Cents, S I X X S E N S E, or you can catch me on, on Instagram at, uh, Blaze6513. Uh, you can catch the Instagram for the show at Nam Tombout, um, N O M T O M B O U T. That's also on Instagram. Uh, check us out. And we will be back next week. Appreciate X Man for coming through. Much and we'll have more for you in store later <laughs> on the Nam Tambout Show. 1660 AM Radio Artifact, man. You're home for wild culture. Can we announce that we're we going to be switching over soon? Yeah, we're going to be switching over soon. Um, we actually got to wait to make the announcement until okay. it happens. Okay. But um, just know there is an FM frequency coming, y'all. And uh, when it comes, you will know. Because it'll be on. <laughs> now I'm talking about. Yeah. See y'all later. Peace.